8 and class 10, the selected candidates are getting the Alokhar Scholarship Program. Students selected by Disha get 3,600 annually, monthly taka 300 as scholarship. Alughar archived various subject-wise CD, DVD of documentary films and films on child affairs, adult, aged and knowledge-based. Gathering of a crowd can sit together and enjoy TV programs, news and special program related educational or knowledge-based along with CD, DVD programs at a predetermined period of a day. Disha dreamed a widening dream for Alughar for future. We can once able to make Alughar as a model for Mipur area, Dhaka best model library in Bangladesh also. Peoples will able to participate in various social works or national development activities besides merely reading and learning and we can able to build up the awareness of the people. In one side, overcrowded settlements suffered from river erosion by high waves of violent Meghna. On the other side, raised charlands and settlements of surroundings of Meghna and Dhanagoda rivers. It is one of the upazila in the Chandput district named as North Motlob. Disha implemented social advancement through knowledge and technical interventions Shokti project from 2011 with the assistance of Stromi Foundation Norway with a view to enhance the development of socio-economic scenario of these disadvantaged populations of the project area in charlands and riverbanks. Disha has taken a forward comprehensive development structure through this project with a holistic approach in a different way where included development and empowerment of disadvantaged children and adolescent girls as well as their parents. The children are getting ready to attend in the primary school through the process of the pre-primary school through the process of the pre-primary education center operating under the Shakti project. The children who are not at the age to go to primary school are coming at the pre-primary education center to learn with amusement and playing. They are provided educational materials free of cost. The children are learning and enjoying creative activities through ingenious playing with available materials and ingredients besides their joyful learning. My child is studying in Disha's preschool. I am very happy to admit her in this school. After attending Disha's school, my daughter is now very careful in respect of personal hygiene, which was not previously. With a view to create child-friendly environment at the schools, Disha's staffs do discussion meeting regularly with school teachers and the managing committee members as well as conduct awareness sessions on child education and development. As a result, the guardians of the children informed that the children including dropped out have become positive towards attending schools regularly. One of my daughter is studying in this school in class 5 and other one is studying in Disha's preschool. My daughter who is in class 5 has started from class 1 in this school but we observed that she did not study well in the school and home 
as she was not happy and attentive to attend in the school regularly which made us very unhappy and disheartened. For which it was decided by us that our younger daughter would not get admission in this school. Few days back, students were very unhappy and not interested in attending in the class of this Adurbhiti school. Students came from home but they did not attend school and they moved here and there. But after Disha's involvement with this school, school management committee meeting is organizing regularly and we are attending in the meeting also. We discuss and provide suggestions for improvement of the quality education of the school. Previously, it was very late in having SMC meeting. After getting involved with Disha's development plan on quality primary education and sharing experiences with Disha, we are organizing meeting regularly. Accordingly, increased interest of students of our school in education and attending school. Quality of education also has increased. Guardians of the students have become more active in sending children and towards improvement of our school. Adolescent period is the next stage of childhood which period is most important to build up the healthy life. Disha is running 40 adolescent Shonglap centers in Motlob North Upojela of Chandpur district for the adolescent girls who are uneducated and dropped out from mainstream education institutions. 1,000 adolescent girls almost same age come to this Shonglap center eagerly every day because the adolescent girls have obtained the necessary knowledge and life skill education with huge amusement and recreation by the trained and skilled animators of the Disha. The adolescents have learned how to lead the life in a better way considering hygiene and healthy atmosphere. They have become aware on the various issues like drinking safe water, sanitation, healthcare and environmental development. They also have become sensitized on early marriage protection, dowry and women trafficking. I did not learn and know about personal hygiene at the family. Now I have learned a lot about hygiene and keeping family members hour after attending Disha's Shonglap Center. I have discussed with my parents on those issues and my parents initiated and made a tin shed toilet. Riyamuni attended the Shonglap Center and has learned about usefulness of sanitary latrine and accordingly she made her parents understood on this issue also. She also shared on the problems of non-existence of the sanitary latrine at the family. Realizing necessity, parents decided and made a sanitary latrine though they were in financially insolvent. Now, we all adolescents girl from the Shonglap Center came to their home as part of our regular home visit and have observed everything fine. We have seen existence of soap, shoe and other materials at the toilet and it is neat and clean. Adolescent girls perform attractive cultural events at the community for awareness raising on various human rights issues in coordination with Disha and have become able to increase the number of sensitized peoples at the society. We have got real ray of hope by getting away the darkness span of our life because of having establishment of the Shonglap Center at our community. Our future generation, adolescents, girls are learning life skill based education and vocational training by attending the Shonglap Center so that we are benefited and feel proud of that. Disha organized vocational training program 
as part of the Shangla One Year course for the less privileged Shangla adolescent girls who have completed nine months life skill education. Adolescents are attending in the vocational training courses of Shokti Project of Disha with full attention. and interest to become self-reliant through self-employment in later stage and to establish themselves as a skilled manpower of the country we are learning tailoring works and handmade works like block boutiques also we will learn more on handmade goods from disha's shukti project Shonglap adolescents girls of the Shukti project organized Shonglap support team SST where included the elder persons of the community and local elites also The SST regularly met in the meeting and make planning and helping adolescents by analyzing the opportunities and problems to make sure smooth running of the adolescent Shonglap center Even they took the effective steps of marketing of the products produced by the adolescent girls. In one stage the guardians of the adolescent girls are showing their keen interest to get this type of trainings and awareness building sessions on the issues which have been learned by the adolescents in training as well as other income generating activities. We the community people will manage necessary land and we will be well stand by Disha with other necessary supports. Based on our community driven supports and cooperation, Disha can help us in the establishment of hospitals and schools with getting teachers also. Our mostly disadvantaged community will be benefited a lot. Once in a day the women members of village organizations started to deposit their small capitals in the name of savings generation by the group members with the help of Disha by learning and building knowledge on planning and strategy VM members started and implementing mechanism to operate business for being self reliant Disha provide financial and technical support to the VO members for starting and helping their initiatives successful and economically productive for them. I have bought some goods for my shop by receiving some money from Shokti project of Disha. My husband who is physically disabled goes to market for buying those goods and take to my shop though it is painful for him. I am selling goods from the shop and he is always supporting me. Aisha Begum informed that nowadays they lead comfortable life than was in before. Aisha started her poultry business by taking only taka 5000 as loan from Disha. Shokti project of Disha is running activities on four major areas in Motlob North Upazila adolescent shonglap pre primary education quality primary education advocacy and microcredit project 1000 adolescents of the shonglap center under Shokti project of Disha are being empowered on social issues and being trained on different income generating training also I do hope the working area will be expanded under Shakti project of Disha for the disadvantaged people and will be benefited the poor peoples including children adolescents as well as the education institutions of these areas underprivileged and uneducated including less empowered peoples of villages in the Shakti project area of Disha will be able to drive forward by reducing poverty and being aware on social and development issues Stromi Foundation er sahayata ei karyakram We have approved a plan to keep up our activities of Shukti project with the assistance of Stromi Foundation up to 2013 Also the strategic plan for next 5 years from 2014 to 2018 is under process by Stromi Foundation in cooperation with the partners including our organization Disha. 
we have observed huge development potentials and development movements in the project's area is impact of running our Shokti project. We do hope we are in right track for achieving the set objectives and goal where the donor agency also very much positive and